Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, we have the logs behind us that we peeled in our last video. That was uh, fun. Yep. <laughs> and today, we get to do the fun stuff. We actually get to start building the fence. Yay! All right guys, we're here doing a set out for our uh, corner fence posts and we're trying to set our long straight boundary. And I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom right in. If you can see Joash down there. He's standing <laughs> on the top of the truck. He's about, he's about, oh, where am I? Oh, out there somewhere. But <laughs> we, we've got a site. This is our longest straight boundary. And uh, we're trying to think so we can, we're trying to set a fence post down there so that we can, this is only about halfway, not even halfway down. And uh, we want to set a nice straight run. But um, we can hardly see him. So uh, he's actually standing on top of our little work truck. Just goes to show uh, how tall the grass is and how, how far down he is. But uh, that's what we're trying to do right now. Alrighty, guys, we are right at the front of our property. We are just prepping for where we're going to doing our front entrance gate section. So we're doing some marking out in relation to, to make sure that it's in a good spot in relation to the house and for accessing into the sheds and the buildings. Uh, we've already set our corner uh, units or marked them out so where we're going to start drilling and the so we're concentrating right now and just uh, marking out so where all our corner strainer units will be set up and from there we go and uh, and then put the rest of the posts in we're going to build a fence type which is very common for us from Australia it's called a, a five wire strainer and uh, it's I haven't seen much of it here in Russia uh, from what I've seen on YouTube um, I've seen uh, there is there is, you do use it in America as well, uh, but it's just a five, it's just a plain wire five plane wire no barb, and then we'll run two hot wires later on for when we're running stock. Uh, but that's what we're going to set up for, and it'll all be a lot more obvious once we've built it. <laughs> and we haven't seen much five wire. Actually, we haven't seen much fence at all here in Russia. <laughs> true. Farming fence in farming the town. Fence. There's fencing, but on farms, especially in this area. It's extremely rare. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they do a lot of cropping around here, so that sort of makes sense. There's not a lot of farm fencing. But even when you do see livestock, it's generally, there's always a shepherd running with them. And somebody, some guy on horseback who's just keeping the how, all the cows where they're meant to be. Uh, for us, with our uh, grass here, you can see the grass is quite long. Uh, we, uh, one of our neighbours, we've arranged one of our neighbours, is going to come and cut it for us and we'll just uh, meadow hay it, and of course that'll be super useful for us to use later on down the track. And it'll make fencing easier when the grass is much shorter. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna do that, let's flip it upside down. Uh, spins that way. All right, it's going the right way. <laughs> Doesn't cut very well, don't know why. All right, so it's a new day on the property. I'm out here in the morning to start off with. I've got a bit of gear. I'm gonna start chopping logs in half to make them the right height for our fence posts. We've also got the bobcat back here to make all the lifting of the logs just a bit easier.
right guys, as you've seen, we've gotten a lot of work done. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of posts cut in half, ready to go. We just mounted the auger on the bobcat and now we're gonna dig some holes for all the strainer, box strainers. Alright, so we've selected some nice looking posts for our front gate. Now we've got to build us some box strainers on either side so we can string wire out in both directions. So if you're wondering what we're doing, we're making a tamping stick. So when we put this dirt in around the posts again, we can tamp it down so it makes the post nice and firm. And uh, this is uh, how you do it with just what you've got. Guaranteed to be sp splinter proof. <laughs> After about three days of use, because you'll have got all the splinters in your hands by then. Well, we cut our, our post damper to the right height for full depth but right. we, we just remember that we put dirt in the top of the hole so we probably have to shorten it a bit Alright guys, so this is what we call a box strainer. Um, basically, yeah, two posts on the ground, one post on the top to stop them from coming together when you put tension on this wire. And the wire puts tension, tension opposite to the fence. So the wire is pulling this together, which is pulling it over to the right. And when we strain off it, we're going to strain that direction. So that's going to pull against this wire and they will equal each other out. And that's what stops um, when you, that's what stops moving when you strain like five wires to this. Because if this isn't here, um, your strainers, strainer post will just start bending over and basically just pull it straight out if you do it tight enough. So that's why we build these. We really like them. Um, it's the best one that we've seen yet. Well guys, it's night time now, and I'm actually camping on the block. As you can see, um, I've got 
my bed here on the back of the truck set up and you can see over there there's a big moon coming up there's the village lights over there and yeah uh, the reason I'm camping is we have some stuff here that uh, we don't want people fiddling with so I'm just staying out here just to make sure that um, you know why the fence isn't up that nobody's bees a bit is a bit nosy and sticks their nose here so yeah I'm camping out so it should be fun Alrighty guys, it's a new day and here we are. We did the two ones near the gate yesterday and then it was late, we had to finish. And this morning we're back at it. It's another beautiful day here, not a cloud in the sky. But uh, a bit of warmth today, it'll probably be uh, high 20s in Celsius and I think that's about 80 in funky height. Um, all our stuff's here, we've got it ready to go and we're gonna put a corner unit in. All right guys, let's give you an update. So, as you saw, we finished that strainer down there and we went and did another one down that way. Now we just, so this is, we put this in, this is going to be the entryway for our property. Um, so the gate is gonna be between these two posts and then we're going to have a little bit of post and rail fence here just to make it look a little bit more official. Alright guys, we are on to boring the holes for the fence. Hey guys, it's a new day. Um, on the weekend, we uh, mowed this section of the fence here so that it's nice and clear and we can drill holes without having long grass everywhere. Uh, I'll show you some footage. Uh, it actually uh, downpoured while we were there, so that was interesting. Here we are. Just came out to mow the fence oh, and the it downpoured. And uh, currently we're trying to get out. You can see there's a, a river running down the road and there is no grip at all. So as you can see, we got a lot of rain. And so after that, 
the property was quite wet so we left it for a day or so to dry out and now we're back on the property we've got a first hole dug on the corner so we can string a line through to our other strainer so let's get started okay guys i've got to take some boards off the truck and uh screw them together so it's longer um and we'll show you what that's for in a little bit Okay guys, as you can see, we've screwed that piece of timber I joined together right on the end of this post and it goes all, all the way up there. Uh, the reason for that is, as you can see behind us, we have this big um, drop off in our land down to this corner and we physically can't see from one um, point, from one servo point to the other point. So we've stuck this big um, this board up so that we we haven't checked yet but hopefully we can see it from our other point that we know is a surveyed marked point and then we can get a straight line for our fence so guys we're about halfway between our two marks we've got a post back that way and as you can see, well you might be able to see you might not be able to see because it's um, a bit of a ways but I can clearly see the post uh, we put up. Probably for you guys, it looks like one of the power poles, but um, it's plenty high enough, so that's great. So we'll be able to shoot a nice straight line right through. All right, guys, just gonna do a quick review of this uh, whipper snipper, weed whacker, what do you want to call it? Made by Shooter, Hooter, Shooter, however it's pronounced. Uh, so we have had this for maximum I think two months uh, we would have done probably uh, at a guess we would have done no more than 30 hours of work with it uh, I think that's being generous uh, in that time the uh, the first actual um, the wire head um, the other one I've got is this is a uh, an aftermarket uh, replacement one, which uh, the company we bought where we bought this, uh, they've been great. They've been really good to us. Uh, they replaced it, gave us this one, which seems to be better quality. Um, the also the uh, the pull start mechanism failed. Not not the actual cord, but the internal plastics inside here failed. Uh, so we couldn't start, so we lost, um, obviously we, had, we had, couldn't work anymore, had to go back to get it changed over, so we lost time and money. And now, uh, just whipper snippering and the handle broke. You can see how flimsy that uh, guard or the actual brace section that holds it together is, and that's just snapped. Um, so d definitely the quality of, of this machine is not good. It seems it, the engine has enough power, and that works well but just the quality of the plastics they use and the materials they use are just not good not uh, definitely not of a professional quality and not even for a home handyman quality uh really disappointing i was hoping for much better uh from this company uh but in my opinion uh this tool is just a waste of time uh and money you know now we've got to go back get it repaired get it fixed uh and that cost me time and money so not happy at all um you know, Russia deserves better. You deserve better tools than this. Uh, this wasn't cheap. 
it was you know just it was the same sort of price range as all the other tools obviously not the same price as a as a steel or a husqvarna uh but for all the other other range other sort of mid-range tools this was just in that ballpark and just quality is not good so uh, i wouldn't touch one of these with a with a 10 foot pole well guys we had a bit of trouble with our whippersnapper as we call it in australia or trimmer weed whacker as you please um, so we couldn't clear where we needed for the fence or the grass um, and the mower just doesn't do a good job in the long grass so we have moved on until we can get that fixed we've moved on we're going to try strain up a little bit of this section of the fence um, see how this wire reacts it's a little bit different to what we use in Australia so we're going to give it a test just to make sure it's working well or if it doesn't work <laughs> All right, so Joash is pulling the tension tight, and if we look down here, you know, I don't know if you can see, but the wire's slowly coming up, coming up, and obviously the loop's coming out as the wire gets tighter and tighter, or the sag's coming out. Okay, we've got our first wire strained. Um, this is a test wire just to make sure that the wire actually does what we want, and thankfully it does. Um, it's got a good um, strain on it, it's uh, not stretching too much and you can't because it's if the wire is too soft it'll just keep stretching and stretching and it won't get tight and then if the wire sometimes the wire you can't tie it and do knots like these ones here it'll just snap um, but it can do all that so we know that it will do the job we need okay guys we've done a bit of working with drilled all the posts for our strainers and we've gone along and dropped all of the posts in um, now as you can see dad is working on this uh, ridge line uh, as it's been farmed over the years and that a ridge has built and there's a mound of dirt there so we want to knock that out make it a lot smoother so as the fence goes over it it um it works a lot better Rather than having a really pointy hill, we'll flatten it out. Okay guys, we've got this one uh, all buttoned up, it's all finished, ready to go. You can see we've still got our, our really tall thing, so for sighting the lines when we actually put the poles in between all our strainer sections. So, uh, I think we've talked about before that the strainers go on all the corners where a fence changes direction. And then you strain, that's why they're called strainers, you strain the wire in between these actual straining units. Now you can see on this one here, compared to some of the other ones we've done, this one's a much closer because on this particular part of our property we've actually it comes to a point so we had to do it really tight so you just face if it's a 90 degree you face it towards the direction of fence coming but because we are running to a tight point here we have to face where it comes so it just looks just a little bit different to me it creates a bit of uh, character in the fence which i really enjoy but it's all done it's rock solid and it'll hold up fence up for the next hundred years hello guys it's a new day um, it's been a bit rainy last night and today so it's a bit wet for bringing the bobcat out so we've been working on stuff that we can do without the machinery while it's this wetter weather we're gonna put a front gate in we're going to be doing a farmer style gate basically we run wires through we have a tensioner post at the end and you'll see as we do it but that's what we're doing today all right guys so we've got the farmer's gate all done uh this isn't going to be the permanent gate this is just something that we're putting up until we have enough time to actually build a gate a proper one um, these gates are used a lot in australia for farms 
Um, if you just put a fence up and it's in the back of your property, a stock gate. Um, and it's a nice, simple, cheap gate that you can put in the animals. Um, it'll stop animals, but it doesn't cost a fortune. So, basically we've tied it on to this post here. We've got these posts as um, uprights. They just help keep the wires at the right spacing. We put little bits of tape on here just so that nobody um, decides to drive through. They can see that it's here nice and easy. And this is how it, the tension is set up. So you put the post in the bottom here. I'll give them a demonstration. And then the top. So to open it, that just goes down there. Do this, and then you walk across and you can open up. So that's the gate open, open. you can just lay it down. Yeah, people just lay it down, whatever. And then to close it, you just have to pick it up, walk it back, put your bottom in first, like that. And you grab that, put your thing around, pull it tight, and it just locks like that. Voila! One stock gate. One so yeah that's about all we can do for today so the next time we will see you it'll be a different day So the hay guy is coming through now on our property and cutting down all our hay, which is great. Uh, hopefully next year we'll have some more equipment to be able to do it ourselves. Uh, we're still on the hunt for some good equipment for a good tractor and hay cutting, uh, hay cutting equipment. If if any of you guys know, if any of you guys know how uh, or where a good place to buy it is, let us know in the comments. That'd be great. So we're digging all the holes and we come across in the holes some of these little, I don't think they're field mice because they don't have a long tail like a mouse, but these little, these little critters fall in the mouth I think, and then it takes us time to try and <laughs> get them out. So this is my little fellas and we'll let them go into the grass. Oh, he likes you Josh. You saved him. Off he goes. All right guys, I'm just gonna show you how we tie our wire off. So if you ever wanna do it yourself, you know how. 
So you, when you tie off around a post, you get around the post like this. You put a little handle on it, like that, a little right angle. Then you bring it around underneath. So they cross over and it's like a crank handle. It twists around, you spin it around the wire, go around three or four times. So you have a nice, uh, well, it looks very nice and presentable. And you don't need wire snips or anything. You can just grab your wire and twist it clockwise or anti-clockwise this way and it'll snap off just like that. So that's a very simple way to tie off your wire to a post. Well, we mentioned before that this fence is gonna be hot wired. What that means is it's going to be electrified. There are systems you buy and they will pulse electricity through these lines enough to shock an animal so that they won't touch it, but it won't kill anything. But to do that, your fence has to be insulated. So what we've done, we'll show here, this wire here and this one down below are going to be our two hot wires. So this is just like a retic tubing. Um, it's plastic, it works very well. So any place where these wires come in contact with a post or anything else, you can see there here as well, we've put this tubing so that the electricity can run through even when it's rained and the post is wet, it's not going to earth out because if it earths out, um, your fence will stop working and then your animals can escape if they want to. So we've gone through and just insulated all of them and later on when we get livestock we will purchase a uh, electric fence unit and install it and it will be ready to, get, ready to go. Well guys, we finally finished. Yeah, it's been a big, it's been a big job. Uh, this part that we just finished fencing of our land is over two kilometers long. Uh, we had some hold ups with rain. Uh, so obviously when the, rain, when the rain came, it makes it much harder to, to dig the holes and backfill. So it slows down a little bit, but it's really satisfying to have uh, this part of the fencing all finished and all complete. It's, uh, it's rewarding and it's nice. So we hope you guys enjoyed seeing us do all this fencing work. Yeah. If you did, leave it a big thumbs up, write down in the comments below, and also share it with a friend. That really yeah. helps us out. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, we hope you guys are all having a great day. And we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Look, mum, no driver. <laughs>